Hey everybody, my name is Melody Malone and I am a worship leader and a part of the passion movement here in Atlanta, Georgia. Today's verse of the day comes from 2 Corinthians 7, 10. For grief according to the will of God brings about a repentance leading to salvation, but worldly grief brings about death. So earlier in 2 Corinthians, we learned that Paul has written a letter addressing some sort of situation and sin that has caused him and others in the church a great deal of, of heartache and of pain. Can you imagine getting a letter like that in the mail? I mean, think about the last time someone confronted you with the ugliness of your sin. How did you respond? The Corinthians had a choice here. They could have received Paul's letter and let it drive them away from God, but they didn't. They chose to receive his correction and let it draw them closer to their savior. They were filled with grief and with sorrow over their sin and not just the consequences of their sin. You see that godly sorrow, it leads us to repentance, to lament, to remorse that we have gone against the heart of our father. And yet at the same time, we know that he is standing there with open arms, ready to welcome us home. Worldly grief, on the other hand, it, it's selfish. It's full of self-pity and regret because really what we're doing is we're turning away from, we're rejecting the one who longs to forgive. So my prayer for us today is that when we're confronted, not if, but when we're confronted with our sin, that we'll see our Savior beckoning us to turn back to Him, that we'll see it as an invitation to greater intimacy with the God of creation. Because when we let godly sorrow do its work, we're really receiving the love of the Father.